Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Why was that your <laughs> intro? What, were you, what would you think you're like a 2016 American vlogger? Yeah, I, I've always wanted to be a 2016 American vlogger. Uh, it reminds me of my childhood. And talking about children, we're watching a dad choosing a date for his daughter. She's not a child. Well, his child. They're by yeah, his child. <laughs> It's his child, doesn't mean like, it's like I'm all saying that. I'm all saying children is a strenuous link. Let's just watch it and see what it's like, right? Dad chooses a date for his daughter. That's meant to be the weird thing here, not me. You ready? Oh, sorry. Do I need to buckle in? Get, let's get going, Alex. Buckle in, everybody, and subscribe. Hi, good humans. It's Milky. I recently started feeling anxious and overwhelmed by life's day-to-day -day challenges. So Milky. Oh, and who's that coming in? It's Way. Way Milky. Milky Way. Oh. Not Way Milky. I thought of W-H-E-Y. Yo, that's Way Milky, man. That's me when I get like a tea that's got too much milk in it. Yeah. Which is why I decided to focus on bettering my mental health. Skip this. Fuck off, advert, bitch. Don't care. Bettering your mental health. Way wanker. Just be happy. Do you think your dad knows your type? No, I do not think he knows my type. Elon Musk if he was Asian. <laughs> Do you think your dad knows your type? I'd be surprised if he did. See, my dad is my type. <laughs> Fucking hell. Five seconds or something into actually watching the video, and you've just said that you fancy your dad. I don't. Not my dad. Oh, fuck off. Of people. <laughs> no, just leave it there immediately. <laughs> we asked Tommy to rank his daughter's potential matches from worst to best. Which one of you has the biggest cock? That, yeah, that, I reckon that's what you did. Is that what you do for your daughter? <laughs> Is it Alex? You'd go, oh, which one would you would give my daughter the best seeing to? Go on. Biggest cock this end. Oh, God, no, I wouldn't do that because that'd be weird, wouldn't it? That would be strange. Yes, yeah, Alex, it would be weird. I was a little shocked. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, Quibble Cop. What is the worst that could happen? <laughs> God, Quibble Cop, man. He's, he's been ranked first, has he? What's Jesus going on? Christ. What's happening in here? What's the hell? My name is Tommy Twin. Original, came from Vietnam, got married, have two children, Nikki and Travis. He just names them exclusively after American rappers. <laughs> Nikki and Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable musicians. <laughs> Great albums. Um, my name's Nikki. I grew up in Orange County, California. Currently a full-time student in San Francisco. Do you think your dad knows your type? No, I do not think he knows my type at all. Perfect guy for Nikki. In my eyes, we expecting family person not out there partying in a lot. Once in a while, I'm okay with that, but not every weekend. Sick sound to add over the top. <laughs> She's like, oh no, no not a party, huh? Yeah? Every we should start doing that every time something bad happens in yeah, one of these videos. Something wrong happens. Oh, Alex did a whoopsie. <laughs> 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 Your neighbours would be so happy that you move out. <laughs> like, what they're looking for in the future for themselves, and not just for Nikki at first, because if they don't have any goals, oh, you lost. Sick at it! Game over, man! If you don't have any life goals, you're a loser! Who the fuck edited this? Like a 16 year old man? What is going on? 16 <laughs> year old man. 60! <laughs> not 16! <laughs> Six zero. So young, you know. I, I'm looking for some fun adventure. I want someone who like has like goals, though, obviously. But that's like more of the future stuff. Right now, I'm like in like really my spontaneous phase. So a druggy. Yeah. Is that what you're getting from adventurous? That's spontaneous. I don't think that a, a spontaneity and adventurousness just stems to taking drugs. You go. <laughs> And then you just fucking just go crazy. That would be, um, I mean, that would have, maybe that's what she needs in her life. Yes, that's, uh, if you were, I'd, I'd fear if you went on this show. <laughs> Which one are you just class A's? I'm gonna go with the flow, see if we vibe. <laughs> well, might as well throw these in the fire. Oh, sick me. Why has this got so many weird edits? Sick me. Why have we ended up watching the Jubilee video that was edited by some boomer? What is going wrong here? I'm calling a <laughs> at one point oh, yeah. and a bruh. And what else are we going to get? Fine sound effect. What else are we going to get? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the clang sound. Yeah, I reckon they're, they're, they're all short shoe-ins for this. Oh, fuck! 
The law and order sound. God, that should have been a that should have been a for sure bet, really. How the f how do I miss the law and order sound? I don't know, but we're gonna to see Tommy interview Nikki's potential matches. So let's let's go. Hello, hi, nice to meet you. Nice and to your meet name you. is Yusuf. Yusuf. Born and raised in Egypt. Right. Um, traveled around for a bit. Ended up out here in California. Okay. Uh, I have some family still in Egypt, I have family in England, so it kind of all spread out. Mm -hmm. Been here for about six years, I'm studying acting. For fun, I'll be surfing or skateboarding oh. or traveling around and... Adventure. Um, yeah, exploring, exactly. Okay. You know, so have you see. ever find a chance like you just want to go and just pack and take off without saying anything or any to anyone. <laughs> if I ever find the chance, will yeah, I take I mean, it? Yeah, I mean like adventure like when you thinking like, okay, I'm gonna go to like China and just pack and go. This is a without trick question. Without telling, telling anybody, you know, like take off and disappear. See, the right answer, I should maybe. say no, I would never just leave without telling anyone. But I mean, Backpacking in China sounds kind of fun. <laughs> so, I enjoy doing stuff with people. Imagine if he, just, I think he, he's trying to work out if he would kidnap his daughter or not. He's like, would you leave without telling, without telling anybody else at the family? I, 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 I thought it was more, would you just leave my daughter? Just I'd assume you take you take your girlfriend with you, wouldn't you? If you were to, I don't think it's kidnapping, though, is it? Maybe not. If she wants to go, obviously not. But if they're adults, but if he decides that. He's upset with that then, I guess so. I mean, I, I don't know, I feel like he would want, he wants a stay-at-home family, doesn't he, for his, for his daughter, so I don't think he's gonna like this bloke. I mean, he's gonna send him right to the back. Uh, you, have you ever been in any relationship? Uh, no, <laughs> and I have not. <laughs> uh, now you get it, yeah. <laughs> and yourself? My name's Ben. Hi, Ben. I was born and raised in Indiana, and okay. I just finished my junior year of college at Ball State University. Ball State? Ha! Oh, they're gonna do a... Ha! Gay! I'm calling it. Uh, I hope nobody's called Jeff on here. Why? Oh! My name is Jeff! Yeah. Ha! Oh, got it. Oh, if oh, if oh, they oh. don't get one of those in, we'll get one of those oh, in for us. Oh, we got the, um... The, um... Um... Twelve seconds later. Oh, SpongeBob! We've had a bit of SpongeBob, but we could do. We could do. We do some more. Some more. Yeah. I'm out here for the summer, like uh, finding video jobs and stuff like that. Okay. Flew over here, just looking for oh. your future or your. No, no, I, I drove. I made sure that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What's your name? Wilson. Wilson. Yes. How are you, Wilson? I'm doing good. <laughs> oh. I don't know, why is he doing that to him? Just say hello. He didn't, do it, he didn't do it to any other, any other ones, did he? I don't think so. I'm born and raised in Singapore. My parents are from Indonesia. Currently, I'm a junior at the University of Southern California, studying computer science. Oh, very good. How do you have your relationship with your family and, you know? I'm really close to my mom. Okay. Actually, just last week, I flew back to Singapore. Mm -hmm. just like, just after finals ended, just to spend some time with my mom. I feel like he's trying to win him over as he's, like, he's entered it like it's a job interview as opposed to meeting the girlfriend. Yeah, so um, I've got a really high paying job um, and I'm really like close to my family and my parents. I'm a really hard worker. Here's a list of my references from my previous girlfriends. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> and their family members. Uh, they've also very nice things about me. It's a shame it didn't work out, but you know, right person, wrong time. Um, and I think I'd be what it takes for this job. Um, I could really uh, lay that dick down. Like after school. I mean, the dream is like, as a computer science major, obviously like, get a nice comfortable tech job, right? Yeah. Like something like Apple or Facebook, something like easy. Oh, yeah. And then, but if it's like real aspirations, like one day like do a startup. Oh, and you are? <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. He's 38. Why is he there? He's not the same age as these other guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, he's leveled up. Pow. He's got his... He's got his confidence on now. He's in his dapping up boots. He's gone in and he was like, oh, I don't know, is it a bit weird? He's the cool dad, man. Yeah, he's the cool dad. With the shades and everything. So I'm born and raised in Southern California. Um, I graduated uh, in 2019 from college with a bachelor's in humanities, emphasis in philosophy and theology. Oh, so he's gonna be unemployed then. What did, what did you get your degree in? Didn't need one. Um, I started my own business and uh, I've become Royal Navy advert. I've become I've become the funniest shishi in the UK. Currently, right now, I'm a high school teacher at a private school oh, in Orange wow. County. Um, I also write too, so like my writing gets published in a magazine. I come from a big family. I'm Mexican. <laughs> big family. 
Doubt it, mate. Look at the size of you. <laughs> Little boy. That didn't realise. That, well, that's, <laughs> that, that's editing. From, he, it, the whole time it was just in on his face. And then it goes, I come from a big family. <laughs> and zooms out of him being the smallest one in the lineup. I didn't realise. he was about a head. <laughs> he was... That is messed up! Got a great relationship with my parents. I mean, I owe everything to my parents. And your sandwich? Hi, my name is KJ. KJ? Yeah. Hi. I'm an actor and oh. producer. I've just been kind of building my career. Family-wise, I have 10 siblings. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad was kind of a wild guy in his early 20s. It's one word for it. I'm close with about two or three of them. Is it real or are you acting right now? Uh, I'm acting right <laughs> now. Ah! Good one! Cracking Jake. Uh, but he, he was he was teeing up the courage as soon as he said I'm an actor. Fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. Is this real or are you acting? Why can't you just go with the dad? What? After I said that I realised that that would be weird, wouldn't it? Why can't she just go with the dad? Oh he's cool, he's the coolest one out of all of them there. Oh yeah, that would be a hell of a curveball if she's like, I choose <laughs> you. And he goes, uh, yes! I, I'm so glad. I was gonna do an impression of it, but I just thought was Yeah, it. well done. That's that I'm glad you decided against doing an impression of an Asian man. <laughs> Tommy missed that, rank the men. Let's see. You step over here, please. Yes. And can you take that? For now, uh, let's go to you. You take her out. What are you gonna do? Well, to be honest, that would depend on Nikki. Uh, I don't know what she's into, what her interests are, so it would be kind of selfish. We're just gonna go here, we're gonna do this. Okay. Um, but kind of what I like to do, I, a beach, get some ice cream, go bowling maybe. Anthony, right? Yeah. Right. If you are in the relationship with Nikki, how romance are you thinking? Hell romance. How romance are you thinking? Would you would you fuck her from behind? Would you bend her over bondage? What what like what what's going on here? I wanna know. That would be very romance that would. Maybe he's just thinking about petals. Throwing about the the, the bed or the or leading up to a nice little table on a balcony. Oh you dinner, fuck on a table or a balcony. For dinner for two. You don't have to bring shagging into it, Alex. That's the only point of having a girlfriend. Absolutely pointless for anything else. So that's why he's here, is he? He's just going around going, right lads, <laughs> which one is going to bone the daughter best? That should be what this is about. I don't think it should be. <laughs> <laughs> if there was any kind of integrity about this show, that's how it should be based. <laughs> like how romantic would I be, I guess? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, sometimes I don't want to see like, Boring. Oh yeah, no, no, 100%. Yeah. No, I, I feel like me, like at least in my past relationships, I'm very romantic. Okay. Um, you know, whether it's like flowers, whether it's like a surprise, like dinner, surprise date, I definitely like to. I like to wake somebody up with like a foot massage where I go, <laughs> and I have them chocolates and breakfast in bed. Why? Why would you? Why is, why is that what you've, you've decided? The worst bit is, you started to say that, you saw my reaction. <laughs> you know like when you... <laughs> you know when you eat hula hoops? Oh, you're a weird man. A really odd man. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Fuck, I only did that one time. I feel, like, I feel like I'm going crazy. You feel like you're going crazy. I have to sit I've recorded three videos today. I have to sit here and watch it. I'm going mad. Do you think the dad would like me? Where do you reckon he'd no. like me? <laughs> Where you... he'd take one look at you and run. If, I, if he went, oh, what type of romantic thing you should do? And I go, I'd lay petals down. What about you? I mean, like, <laughs> how soon you can introduce her to your family? When I want to date someone, I always think about like long term right. because I don't see like a point if it's just like something short, right? It's like the power of compounding, the same as relationships as well. So if I get a comfortable feeling with Nikki, if I understand that she reciprocates at the same time, then I feel like I could um, introduce my to my mom like very quickly, like within two months probably. Within like two minutes. <laughs> they got a hell of a like understanding going on these two. Like on the on the others. Like, the dad's sort of like a, so, what do you think about this? And they give an answer and he's like, mmm, okay. Well, these two, they're both just sort of like business. What it's, are you going to do it's, next? It's just business. They're just like, yes, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's I great. Yeah. How long would it take you for introduce... Sorry. How long would it take you to introduce somebody to your mum and dad? Years. Years, really? No, I don't know, I guess. Um, when it feels right. <laughs> Is that not the right answer? 
when it feels like, oh, I want you to, I want you to actively meet. I don't want it to be a situation where I'm like, come on, let's go meet mum and dad, and then the next week being like, I don't know how I feel about this relationship. Brilliant. I used to never tell my parents that I broke up with them afterwards. Really, they'll go, oh, what, 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 when are you and your girlfriend coming back? And I go, broke up with them six months ago. But I've got a lot of strange relationships with the people I know. I don't know why though. I don't think I do anything to push him away. Alex, what the fuck are you talking about? That was how. That was when you. When do you tell them that you've broken up? Not fuck off, weirdo. You and Nikki in the first date. How are you approaching her? Do you believe in the first kiss? <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe first date is the <laughs> date you get to know them. Um, if it's gonna work out, if you guys have that connection with each other, and then from that point on. You guys talk about how you feel and what should be your next step. What's the proper next step to take? I don't think I don't think he does that. None of them do what they're saying. Probably no. the guy that's turned up with a CV. Yeah, no, he's the only one who's true to what he says. The rest are like, quick shag, and then decide where I want to keep it afterwards. Keep it. That's what I always say. Nice, Alex. Looking at any kind of commitment, or are you just like, okay? Do you see him there? Yes, me! This is just like, f I mean, like, just. An aubergine just flew onto the screen. He mentioned cock. Like, other boys, a lot of boys, just like going <laughs> out and having fun. <laughs> all of my friends out there, the boys. they all have girlfriends and stuff <laughs> like that. I just want to have one too. I'm starting to get to the point in my life where I'm starting to think about like long term commitment. I've been in a few relationships and they've lasted like a year or two. I'm looking for something that I can see going long distance or, you know, looking for a stronger commitment. Not, not personal, but when you're talking about, you know, last few relationship, mm -hmm. how did it end up? I'm in college right now, I'm moving around a lot, and I didn't realize that was kind of causing some of the conflicts that was. Alright, okay. make some move right here. Can, um, can you choose switch, please? Can you choose switch, please? How's that? How's, the, how's Mr. Five Foot what, winning? I don't know. How's he done that? Maybe it is your personality that draws girls away from you. <laughs> it wasn't the height that we thought it was all along. If I always get you them can't, back... You can't keep blaming your height anymore. Yeah, but I always get them back on side with that little bedroom trick that I've been showing throughout the video. Then nobody wants to get away from me. Why, why bring it back up? Because I generally think there are people out there who would really appreciate... They'd really appreciate my ability to you know, make them feel happy like that. I think, <laughs> I think it's a good thing. I mean, it's good really to have strings to your bow. I'm just showing off that I've got skills. What a skill? It depends. Where you, it depends, really. On what? On whether you want like it or not. It's not skilled suck a toe. No, compared to the people I've been speaking to. Not compared to the people I've been speaking to. Whoa! Nice one, Alex. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with this. Short kings. <laughs> Short kings out here. <laughs> I'm Nikki. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Forget ideal first date. If we were to leave here right now, where would you guys take me? To the bedroom, baby! 11 o'clock. I think Sujita Sautel opens at 11, right? I'm kind of hungry right now. Like some ramen. Yeah. Mm. Like thrifting, you know? There's like stores open, painting, something like that. Uh, I, I just saw Top Gun. I want to see it again, so I just didn't see Top Gun again. I kind of want to watch Top Gun again, so I guess I'll drag you. Yeah, right I guess we just got to talk. I like Top Gun. Top Gun's good. I like Top Gun. We'll go see Top Gun. But he's basically said, I'll, go, I'll just take you along to whatever I wanted to do anyway. Yeah. So I, was, I was meant to be going to the grocery shop after this, so you could come along. I don't think you should ever take a girl to the cinema. I made that mistake once. It's not a good one. Because you can't speak to each other. You don't really get to know each other. So it's just a bit weird. You do get to see a dank ass film, though. I saw Batman vs. Superman. Dang. Hop on the back of my motorcycle and we'll go to Venice Beach or something. <laughs> Walk up here. I think he wins. Uh, what is this? Boys, bad boys. That was a fucking cool edit, man. That was sick. That has engaged me more. <laughs> no Leave way. a like! There's no way I'm clicking off this video now. So are you guys outdoorsy types or like homebodies? Outdoors. Outdoors, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> like, if it's like a group of friends that like all plan a trip and like can super, like, oh, like this weekend going Joshua Tree, like super down for that. But at the same time, it's, like other weekends just want to stay back, right? So, what are your like hobbies and like interests? I enjoy playing the guitar. Sometimes write music. I enjoy talking to girls' dads. I love your dad. I think that's pretty dope. I mean, playing the guitar, five foot six, it's my type of guy. 
term, he is destined to fail. For me, it would be anything adrenaline related, doing such things as like, if there's a swell, we'll go out and surf the big waves or swimming in the ocean and off the boat, like whatever. There's not like a ton of stuff to do in Indiana, so I found a lot of fun stuff to go do with my friends. So like a Indiana? cool- Indiana? Yeah. Oh Yes, yeah, kind of far. But. <laughs> just a little. He's lost. He's lost there. He doesn't want to do distance. How far would you be willing, like, if, let's say, hypothetically dating somebody, how far is the maximum far away that you'd want them to be? Um, I don't know. It depends. Um, I'd say two, two hours maximum. Yeah. I think. I mean, anything more than two is just a bit long, yeah, really. Even two is long. Yeah, two is long. I don't know. Nobody cares what I'm going to say. They do. The people I do care about you. I don't. I don't care enough about what. They're I'm... interested in you. They're interested in, in what you think, what you like. You know how many toes you've been sucking, all of that. That's why I give them. It stops. Oh this is important information. <laughs> We're building a fact file here. <sighs> this is gonna go on your YouTube wiki. -er. Wiki. -er. <laughs> That's what it's called. YouTube wiki. -er. Yeah, it's W I K I A. It is. Do you want to see my one? No. No, come on. No, we don't need to prolong this. Ah! Nikki must now rank the men from who she thinks is our worst to best match. Let's see, do you reckon the five foot five king's gonna win? Not, not a bloody clue. Clue? Chance. Not a chance. <laughs> he's, he's ended up in the bin. He's he gonna be off the screen. <laughs> in the bin! You'll, you'll, see, you'll see half his- In the bin! You'll see half his body on the side of the screen. She's, she's gonna put them all <laughs> here. And then out. he's gonna push be like, out here, he's just gonna be there like, uh, guys. <laughs> Thank you first. Hey Jay and Yusuf switch. And then we'll send to the end and then yes, skip down. Or KJ to third. Yes. Her dad is gonna be fuming. Yeah. He's gonna be livid. He's gonna be so angry. Wait, I have one important question. Do you guys know the muffin man? <laughs> and they're like, who? Well, he's married to the Muffin Man. <laughs> the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Do you know my dad? What was that question? <laughs> Do you guys know your astrology sign? Do you know your astrology signs? By what? Your astrology signs. <laughs> They're married to your astrology sign. <laughs> Our astrology signs? Your astrology signs! Capricorn. Do you know your, your, your big three? Uh, I know that I'm a Scorpio moon. Capricorn's like my uh, like birth sign. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Um, so I actually you don't- You know your big three? No, I don't like astrology signs. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a philosophy major and I have a whole report on like, <laughs> why I'm not a huge fan of-, of uh, Astrological signs, but like the history of it is really cool. To be honest, I don't know anything. I just wanted to ask. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, <was> like, oh. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you would react to the question, you know? Yeah. yeah. Imagine if I was there. I just wanted to see how you react to the question. I'm on the end going, Do you know <laughs> astrology signs? So you'd just be looking at you. Um, you'd be ranked, the, the five foot four guy would be half Australian. You'd be out of the studio. She would have moved you away. You just Restraining all that. Well, who's married to <laughs> I had two uh, past relationships. The most recent one was about three years ago. Uh, she moved to West Virginia for school, so it wasn't really. School, West Virginia. You know, like the song. Bowden Palmer, Shenandoah River. Life was old there, older than the trees. Older than the mountains, something like in the breeze. Country roads, take me home to a place. <laughs> Stop. So, long distance, not gonna work? Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm too busy to even try to make a long distance work. The most recent one was like, uh, throughout like the year of COVID, when like school's online, and then it broke up like last year just because like she's I was in a school in UK, and obviously here coming to Cali, it's gonna be in completely two different places. I'm here for you, bro. Oh. <laughs> he, just, uh, he just goes, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> just drops his Oh, you there! Just drops his accent and everything. I thought there was only oh, four. Oh shit! I thought there was only four of us. <laughs> I've never had a past relationship. Uh, I feel like I gotta work on myself and get myself like fully comfortable and happy with what I have and what I'm doing before I start putting my time into someone else. And I also believe like a relationship comes after a friendship, a really good friendship. So I never wanted to like rush anything. Yeah. You see how it goes. You're a virgin. I think he looks like a fucking stud. No, he definitely fucks, for sure. He does. I'm just getting that vibe off the hat. But I also get that vibe when I put this hat on as well. Can you? Not even slightly. Okay. Can you two switch? And you two switch. It's my guy Wilson. Hang on, so he says he doesn't necessarily like want a relationship and she's put him first. So what does that mean? They are almost the complete opposite of what the dad wanted. Yeah, how has this happened? I mean, at least Five Foot Kings made it half up the board. Five Foot King. He's done, he's done a good job. Five for king! Started from the bottom now we hear. I know, dude. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, everybody here's a boomer. Started from the bottom now we hear. Started from the bottom of the whole team. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I feel like I'm upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, ways of what? Personality. Okay, what else? Cock size. I put Yusuf first okay. because I liked how like fun and spontaneous Huge cop. Yes, he sounded and stuff like that. And I'm still young. Can you have fun? Well, fun still, you know. <laughs> fun with his huge cop. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And like, we have a lot of similarities. Okay. Yeah. I've also got a huge cock. <laughs> Stop talking about cock. But, go on. What? You would, wouldn't you? I would what? You would think that about him. What, you've got a big cock? Go on, have a little look. What, his cock? No, just at him. I mean, he looks like he goes skateboarding. Yeah. you got, to be fair, if you're skateboarding, like, you don't see him skateboarding who doesn't have, like, a set of bollocks on him. Like Tony Hawk. You, because you've got to be cool and strong. Oh, and yeah, powerful. Tony Hawk, why don't it's Tony, it's Tony Cock. <laughs> And for the daughter, right off the bat, I was like, okay, she's a fun personality. Like, she's most likely gonna dig this whole vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Lau was in a virgin then. What was that? His laugh. It was probably gonna dig this whole vibe. <laughs> Lau was, I reckon he was, a, he was a nerd at school and he's trying to play off this whole character because he looks like the, the cat, like the sort of stereotypical sort of fuck boy ride that ride that wave bro but yeah he does to be and fair he just let it out then i could tell from the little laugh he's not like me he's like a real chad because i'm like i'm not i'm not faking anything i just am that i just am that type of person no you are not faking anything until you it's very obvious what you are what am i then what would you say that i am A lost cause. With Ben. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of similarities. I like his date idea. Yeah. <laughs> Wilson, sorry. I feel like we don't, we're not vibing like that, <laughs> you know? Is this what we're gonna miss? You know, that's what it is. She's just, he's heartbroken. When you need to meet the word count. It's a swing and a miss. That's what it is. Poor oh, buddy. Miss, uh, it was after I swung. I, I, swung I did miss. I didn't hit it. So I missed. I liked like your career goals and all of that. And then you seem really fun as well. Honestly, I think it was when I said I wouldn't do long distance and then. Well, for now, I respect what your decision, <laughs> but you know. I feel like I'm not that like surprised. Did he just gonna say, well, I'll I make kind of, later. yeah, I'll, I'll decide for you when yeah. I can be bothered. But for now, I'll let you have this. Yeah, I have final say, but for now... <laughs> I'll take this into account overall, but um, let's just say this might not be what you want. With how you ranked it, of course you would choose someone who was like older and like knew like what he wanted to do in life. And then second guy is still at school, goes to USC. But I feel like I came into this with the mindset of like, this is gonna be a fun experience, so let's choose like fun people. As a parent, expectation is uh, different than uh, you guys when you're still young. Been there, done that. So, 
time will tell us. Would you let me hop on the back of his motorcycle right now? Nope. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something completely different then. Would you let me hop on uh, uh, his, his motorcycle right now? <laughs> his psycho, psycho, his cycle, not his cock. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and one of these. Uh, there's plenty more on this channel if you guys want to go watch the other ones. And check out Josh Clarkey's channel and subscribe. Please. He really needs it. This is, this is like community service. It's breaking him down mentally. He's not going to be able to last much longer. Don't make a joke about that. <laughs> Let's I know just, you're about to. <laughs> just watch some more videos, guys. See you in the next one. Oh, I fucking hate when you do that. It's so weird. What? The little hand over the... You're not David Dobrik. <laughs> Fuck it, I hope not. Peace out, guys!